What up, though, y'all? Joe Guan, the Hooligan, your friendly neighborhood rap dealer. Now, I sell my CDs on the streets for a living. One question that I get asked all the time is, how do I hook up my CD jackets? Well, I just pulled up in my local FedEx office, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Pretty much all you need is a print of the front and back of your album cover, a glue stick, and a cutting tool. I'm doing this at Kinko's today because everyone doesn't have access to a personal computer. So you can come here and you can use the workstations. And they have the computers equipped with not only Photoshop, but the program that we're going to be using today, Microsoft Publisher. I'm a Detroiter. And one thing that we Detroiters know is the impact that Henry Ford had on the rest of the world. His business model was manufacturing the product and selling it at an affordable price that the consumers can buy it and with that methodology in mind I began selling my album on the streets and I wanted to make sure that I had it where I could manufacture it and sell it at a reasonable price so I'm going to show you how I do this first load up Microsoft Publisher with a new publisher open scroll down to labels from the left menu double click it and labels using the scroll bar on the right scroll down to CD slash DVD labels click CD DVD booklet hit command A to remove their entire template we'll start with the design on a whole new project from insert hit insert picture This is from a music video that I have called Next Year. These are the thumbnail images. So, from here, we'll crop our image. Make sure that it fits nice and snug. Front image. Insert another picture from file. Whatever picture you want to use, make sure it's cropped. And make sure that it fits snugly in between the center line. Now let's add some word art. On the left panel, you'll see your word art icon. Click it. And we'll put my name. Joquan the Riding through your town with a trunk full of CDs and a box of black and my <laughs> Now this ain't gonna be nothing too fancy. I'm just giving you the gist of how you can hook up a nice little CD jacket for yourself. Now we're gonna need to add a track list here. From the insert drop down menu, scroll down to text bar. Add it wherever you want and for the sake of time, I'm just gonna blah, 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 blah. You get the picture. Boom. You now have a CD cover design. So I did that to show you how to make a basic CD jacket for yourself. Now, I'm not gonna be printing this. I'm gonna be printing my original graphics for an album I have called Hooligan Rising. Uh, sometimes you may have graphics that you've had someone hook up for your front and back cover. Real easy to hook up right here in Microsoft Publisher. All you have to do is just go to insert. First, let me delete all this. Just go to insert, same as we did before, from file, things in my downloads, your front album cover picture, make sure that it's nice and tight so that when I cut it and fold it, it'll look good. So for printing, here's your options. Most of the time, print shops want to print from a PDF file. Real simple to do in Microsoft Office Publisher. You just hit File, scroll down to Publish as PDF. Again, Rise PDF Publish. So now that we have the images for the CD jacket pretty much hooked up now all we got to do is just send it to a printer and i will show you how i cut and fold from the self-pay kiosk i hit the obtain new card button new card comes out i insert it into the machine once i insert the card i insert the dollar denomination now you don't have to do this if you got your own credit card a debit card but i'm a broke ass rapper who makes a living selling cds on the street so i don't have one of those 
y'all remember that so once i put enough money in and i'm sure that i got enough to get the job done i can always come back but it's off to the printing machine after i get my card and once we get to the printing machine i insert my card insert the thumb drive which includes the pdf of the file that i want printed into the usb reader select the source which is usb and I find my USB file. Now you can't print Microsoft Publisher files or Photoshop files. You can only print PDFs from this machine. So I select color, those expensive as color prints, and the money machine starts printing. Now let's go cut. Now you can use your scissors to cut up, but look at this bad boy right here. You're definitely gonna cut up good using one of these. Make sure you have your print on a firm, smooth surface. Flip it over. First fold until you get to the colored line. Make sure that your corners are edged up so that it folds neatly over your CD. Same on the other end. Make sure that it folds neatly over your CD. Take your fold, fold it in half, slice, take your glue stick, you now have a CD sleeve. And that is how you go from this to this. So now you actually have physical product that you can sell to the masses and get out here and get rich or die trying. I hope you found this informative and entertaining. It's not no grandiose. It's some, you can use jewel cases as well. You can cut these up, put them in jewel cases, but it's cheaper to manufacture them like this. Now remember, you don't have to be great to start, but you do have to start to be great. Until next time, your friendly neighborhood rap dealer, Joe Juan the Hooligan, signing off. How do you turn this thing off?